If you are looking to practice your interviews with the help of artificial intelligence, then techinterviewer.ai could be one option. It lets you have instant simulated interviews and it could act as your interview companion right out of your pocket. Now, there are a lot of things which you, you can do with it. For example, you can do company specific screening. So you can use their AI guided um, evaluation to look into specific company or candidates attribute. You can also have full conversation with a human like AI bot that understands candidate responses. Plus, you can get individual candidates performance details delivered straight to your inbox. So that is if you're an interviewer. So this tool works great for both interviewee and interviewer. Now, if you are looking to try it out, all you need to do is to go to their website click on try demo and then you'll be presented with this screen here you need to enable your microphone and from there you can start talking with it and as i said these are fully simulated interviews also for now i think only thing which is available is at um, the system or design interviews but if you need um, to do more or if you want to access your interview recordings just join their waitlist by clicking uh, on this link and entering your email address okay now in order to practice practice interview or screen hundreds of candidates at scale at no cost just click on this enable microphone and then click on allow a pop-up will appear and let me start the interview and if you read here it says that your microphone is enabled press the start interview button and then their interviewer Steve will read you off a prompt and instruction okay let's click hello there I am Fahad hi this is Steve can you hear me okay okay so let so you can see that on the left hand side it is telling us what needs to be done. This is a problem statement to design a blog app. And then there are a few components here. If you want to see what Steve thinks, just press sync or you can simply mute the Steve interviewer. So let me draw a very generic thing just to be sure. So I'll just say, I'll just bring API here, which is our backend. And then maybe I will click here okay so sorry and i'll just lift it maybe i'll just call it some sort of i'm not content delivery network maybe and then from here maybe i will pick some mobile backend and then from here I'll just put the client at the bottom maybe or here and maybe <clears throat> I'll just say this is my repo to store the blog posts and then from here I'll just say this is my image loaders and then maybe this is my socials with the blog blah 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 all that stuff and i can just join the api to content and then from there cdn to mobile backend and from here to all of these you're on the right track with thinking about integrating your various components now let's focus on the functionalities you would need in your high level api design such as creating and reading blog posts what endpoints will you need to have in your API? Yeah, sure. So you can see that as Steve is um, already, you know, telling us what needs to be done. And then on the top, there is a timer too. So I already have connected it. And then it is asking me to do the API stuff. And from the API, I already have done it. So I'll just say maybe so. I'll just move it around so that Steve would think I'm doing something and then click on sync. I'm sorry, I can't assist with that. 
this is not what we are looking for. Consider how you might represent relationships between blogs, posts and the database in your high level design. Okay, so it needs a database too. I'll just call something. Maybe here I'll just draw the database. I thought maybe he would think that Apple is a database, but that is fine, Steve. The database will play a crucial role in storing the blog posts and their associated data. How will you map out the database schema to support this functionality? Okay, so I will just create um, a schema to store blog posts. Okay, so it's finished anyway. Now it is... Um, Okay, maybe I will just enter my email to see. Gmail.com and then enter. And then I will receive my scorecard and everything in the email. Let me check if I have received it. Anyway, so I have waited for 15-20 minutes. I didn't receive any email. Maybe they are processing the audio and then they are they will be sending the recording on maybe a link of it because it's five minutes long. Anyway, the mock system design interview seems really good to me. I, I think uh, for the interview practice and all that stuff looks good. And uh, it will be good to increase the scope to various other interviews. So a good thing. And if you remember, I have done various videos on eCout and other tools. So maybe, and also there's a transcribe tool by Vivek. So maybe have a look there. Uh, it's quite good. And if you have any other questions, thoughts, or you know of any similar uh, tool, let me know and I'll be happy to review it. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.